Evening everyone. I'm going to see how this goes because we've just in the middle of a torrential thunderstorm here at the moment. You might be able to hear the thunder in the back. You might see the lightning flash. And so it affects the um, signal. So this might go in and out, but we'll see how we go. So today I want to talk about how narcissists use their children to control you. And we talked in the last um, live or oh, no, the life before that about boundaries and how narcissists will go around your own boundaries. When you put boundaries in place, they will use something else to come around and get in at you another way. And children are often a way to do that. And so they they know that you put your children and their best interests first. And so it's actually really easy for them to use the kids to get around and to maintain that control over you because one if they say that they the, they need to talk to you about the children obviously you are going to answer that call or you are going to reply to that because it's about your kids so they can lure you back in that way they will also use lots of techniques around how um how they treat the children so they will punish the children for something that you don't do for them. So they, they want something. You say no. You put your boundary in place. They will then take it out on the kids. And so you're stuck in that catch-22 situation of do I honour my boundaries or do I or do I risk the repercussions being put onto my children? And it's it's a no-win situation, isn't it? It's a, it's a double bind, as, as we call it. And that can be incredibly difficult to know what to do for the right thing because you obviously you don't want your kids to be hurt but equally in dropping your boundaries you're telling the narcissist that they have that control back over you and my advice in those situations is always to it's the children focus on the children and giving them the power to understand the how beautiful and how wonderful and how loved they are by you and give them the skills to not be as impacted by their behavior now that's not going to be easy because they're their parent and whatever our parents do impacts us but if you can provide that contrast between loving them unconditionally respecting them seeing what their emotions are helping them to explore what they're feeling how they're feeling and helping them to express that then these are all the things that in the long term are going to protect them the reality is in the short term day-to-day -day basis there's little you can do because you have to put those boundaries in place because if you don't then they ride roughshod all over you and you are back to square one and so it's sometimes about making those really difficult choices. But when you give your children the confidence to know the truth, know reality, understand how they're feeling, then you're protecting the you're protecting how they process things that happen. You can't protect them from whatever the narcissist is going to say or do. But what you can do is help them process it in a healthier way. Some of the other ways that they control is when they are um, in, con in, in their time, if you, if you have shared contact or um, shared custody, then when they're on their time, they will restrict phone calls, they will return them late, they will change arrangements at the drop of a hat just to give you the runaround and just essentially to prove to themselves that they still have that control over you and the best thing for you to do in those situations again is to have your boundary in place so if they're due back at a certain time set yourself a boundary of when that when that cutoff point is for you that you you notify authorities that they haven't been returned the difficulty being they're with their parent um but you still have a right to raise that concern that they've not been returning you've not heard anything from them what they will always try and do is push 
push the boundaries as far as they can. And you can get caught up in that day-to-day -day bind of them doing that. And it's easy and it's exhausting. And that's part of the problem is you get so caught up with those day-to-day -day battles that you, you're not able to live your own life and you become consumed again. You're back in that in that kind of um, whirlwind or what's, what's a better word than that um, in that darkness because they are luring you back in through their antics to to restrict you they want you to be restricted they want to maintain control over you even because that's the bit that gets them the most is that they have lost control over you because without controlling you they can't control what information goes out they you might say things you um the truth might come out their character might be revealed so they have to control everything to ensure that their secrets stay safe and they do that through that conditioning behavior where they they make you do the things that they want you to do by using either other people your children or withdrawing silent treatment or anger rage it's all about making sure that they remain in control They're very, it's very political in that sense that they control the flow of information um, and children are really easy carriers of that information and they will use them in whatever means necessary and I know I've had queries around what do you do in that situation because it is really hard it's really hard when your kids are returned late or when they're in their in their um un in their contact time with the other parent and you're not being allowed to speak to them even when it's court ordered they will find a way that they'll say they don't want to talk to you or the reception's bad or you know million and one excuses for it and you can't control that. You cannot control what the narcissist does. You can't control their behavior. And so you have to step away from that. And this is what most people find so hard. But it's also what gives most people the strength to really recover from this. When you stay playing the games, when you allow everything they do to trigger you, you stay caught up in that. When you step back and have a little faith not in them not at all never have faith in them but in have faith in the outcome that you seek so have faith that all will be well it will all work out okay my children love me um they will be returned just fo focus on that rather than the small details i wish i could give you a foolproof plan to say say this and this will happen say this and this will control them but that's not how narcissists work obviously in my book communicating with the narcissist i give you lots of tools around how to communicate more effectively some ninja tricks on how to tap into their subconscious to get them to do more of what you want and if you do want to do that it is on amazon just search communicating with the narcissist or sarah squires and you will find the book and it will provide you with those tips like I say, the people that survive the best are the ones who take that control, who take that step back, who learn what their own triggers are and stop fighting every little battle. What you also find, and I find this a lot with, with parents, is that they are so caught up in what might happen they before contact happens they've already decided well they're not going to let me have a phone call they're going to bring them back late it's all written out and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so start by trying to think more positive again not about the narcissist behavior but about you and and the faith that you have in things working out so when they go say to yourself they'll have a nice time they won't forget me. They love me. They're secure in my love. If I talk to them, great. If I don't, I know that they still love me and that they'll be okay. And then they'll come back and they'll be back on time and, and, and it will all be okay. And 
I know that that's hard. I do know that that is really hard and I know that I'm simplifying it. But I also know from experience and from working with lots of people that this kind of mindset, this approach is what helps you get the results is because every time you try and push against the narcissist and, and do what you want, that just fires them up even more. When you take that step back... And you don't allow them to keep triggering you. You don't keep getting drawn into those games. You don't keep texting them and saying, where are you? Why can't I have that call? You just leave it. You've trusted it. You step back. It winds the narcissist up for starters, but it reduces your stress and anxiety. And when your stress and anxiety is re reduced... The situation remain it, it comes down for you and that's what all this is about and your kid needs to see that your kid doesn't want to be thinking oh my god my parent is going to be so anxious because i haven't spoken to them or i'm a bit late you do not want that coming through for your children because that isn't fair they don't deserve that and whilst i'm not blaming you for that i know that it's created by the narcissist you can choose to not play into that trap and these are really hard things to do and this is where working with someone like myself who has both lived experience and professional experience of working with clients who have been traumatized who have been through abusive relationships and who have recovered who have built their life back up who have stepped out of the game not saying you won't be triggered again but they've become stronger and more able and actually the entire situation around them has calmed down and they feel much more in control then do get in touch i i i, I do love what i do i love helping people to find their power and you can do that. You can reduce the level of control that narcissists have over you by taking your control back. Every time you fall into that trap of them doing something and you reacting, you're giving away of so much of your power. And so when you take back your power and you focus on the things that you can control within yourself, one, you are cutting off that supply that emotional supply to them but two you are maintaining your own well-being and that is what is going to stand you in the greatest stead going forward and your children too that's what they need to learn from you they need to learn from you how to handle this and so how you handle it by remaining as peaceful and as positive and focusing on self-love and self-care like i say not easy but you can do it I'm here to help. Do check out what services we have available. Do, do check out the book as well. Head to the nurturingcoach.co.uk. We have the strategy uh, break free strategy call available as well as a book on Amazon. Or go to Amazon and search Sarah Squares or communicating with a narcissist. And grab yourself those resources. Arm yourself. And if you do want support on this, I'm here to help. I am here to support you and I'm here to unleash that power within you so that you feel more confident in in control of the situation i hope you found that useful i haven't seen any comments come up that might be because you haven't asked any but it may be because we've got really bad reception like i said at the start we are having a thunder and lightning storm here and so everything will have been impacted by that if you have left any comments i will go and read them and i will respond to you um, but obviously if you do need to get in touch then go to the website or click the blue button on facebook which uh, is book now and you can book a strategy call and we can go through how best to move you forward with this take care have a great evening if you are, have got the storm near you make sure you stay safe and keep your little ones your pets safe my cats belted it in when that first that first bellow of thunder went off it was hilarious but they're all inside and safe now so take care everyone and we will speak soon bye bye